trial on uh, doing a car exclusion, which is one of those scenarios which we are going to uh, introduce into the as part of the exercise. When you see this uh, explosion effect together with the smoke and everything, it recreates the kind of uh, close feeling to that of an uh, uh, actual explosion situation that could possibly happen. It's a national level exercise where we actually prepare the, our responding forces, not only for SCDF. Although SCDF is an incident manager, we also have participations from other agencies such as police, um, SAF and MOH. So in this scenario, we actually have a chemical release in the midst of a gameplay. So when the spectators are watching a game, and this tanker release is created by this terrorist. So our responder will come in with auto injector, CLK and stretcher to rescue out all these casualties who have actually suffered the chemical release attack. You can see the role players here are from National Service Training Institute as well as from the Civil Defence Academy and they total 144 of them. Okay, we feel as instructors that this exercise, North Star 9, has been very helpful for the trainees because it gives them a chance to be exposed to a national level exercise where you can see a number of related agencies all together in action. And uh, because of the large number of casualties, it's a big challenge for my men and I to have to evacuate all of them. So we do this by prioritizing. Okay, we conduct a snatch rescue of those which are around the perimeter while the HUD team and the HESMAT team conduct their mitigation. Our role is to do the inner cordon of the disaster, which is a uh, bombing. We are here today to help in Exercise North Star. We help to prioritize the casualties according to their severity. And we feel all of us here are highly motivated now. Uh, we want to participate in North Star because it helps us be more prepared uh, if there are any emergencies that happen. So for this exercise, we are actually integrating all the healthcare personnel together. So in addition to the hospital personnel, we also uh, are integrated with the civil defense as well as the SAF personnel to provide uh, medical care. So this is a good opportunity for us to exercise here because uh, as we all know, this is a new location and uh, we are all keen to explore how we can best support uh, an incident like this. For this year, it's pretty special. We, have, um, we are collaborating with um, ITE East, uh, the beauty and spa department, uh, in getting the students to you know, help us to do some mulaging. This is the first time that they are participating in such a big event and uh, with so many um, casualties. So it's also something that they are uh, not taught in school. Uh, it's an additional practice for them. So they are very happy to be part of this uh, event. I've watched the uh, exercise North Star several times. Each time is a different scenario, different threat, a different capabilities are practiced. So we have to be very vigilant. We have to practice our response capabilities. 
and it means the police, it means the civil defense, it means the health services, the ambulances, it means uh, all our agencies working together so that we can respond coherently.